You just watch workers in Michigan celebrate at the Michigan State House, which is a rare thing to see these days because typically when we hear about legislation passing, it's something terrible, but not in this case. Michigan workers were reacting as the Democratic led state Senate voted to end a work a right to work law in the state. Now, right to work sounds awesome, except it's not. For those who are unfamiliar with right to work laws, they're pretty terrible. Now, what right to work laws do is it essentially allows for employees to reap the benefits of unions without actually having to join the union, meaning without ha having to join the union and pay dues. That has crippled union membership. Because why would you pay dues if you get to reap the benefits of what the unions are fighting for on behalf of the workers who are paying their dues? So it was very much intention it was very much an intentional effort to gut union membership and it has worked. And luckily in this case, you have Democratic lawmakers in the state of Michigan reversing that. Lawmakers voted along party lines 20 to 17 in favor of a package of bills that will repeal the right to work law. Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer has already indicated that she intends to sign the bills, which will make Michigan the first state to roll back right to work laws in nearly six decades. So um, I just really want to emphasize that the phrasing here, right to work, is in intentionally deceptive. Here's some more information from More Perfect Union on what right to work laws actually do. Right to work, uh, like I said, very misleadingly named law, uh, essentially is the right to freeload, um, makes it so that uh, workers at unionized companies don't have to pay union dues, but still get to benefit from collective bargaining agreements brought on by the union. Led by Governor Rick Snyder, Republicans' goal was to cripple labor unions and make it harder for workers to collectively bargain for better wages, benefits, and working conditions. And it worked. Unions lost 40,000 members in the last 10 years, and wages stagnated. So it cut the power of working people, right? It, it showed that corporations have much more say than their workers. And it showed the, these exact workers all over the state that the government cared more about profits than it did about people. So RM, I wanna bring you in because I think that this is a perfect example of the kinds of policies that Democrats should focus on if they wanna go back to presenting themselves and representing themselves as the party that looks out for workers, right? It used to be the party of the working class. It has unfortunately devolved into this elitist, hyper-educated, pro-corporate party. But what happened in Michigan is so important and I wanna see more of that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this and also this is a pretty, like you were saying, this is a pretty historic thing because from what, I, what I've read and what I understand, these right to work laws are nearly impossible to to roll back. So this is this is a huge deal, um, and I think you're absolutely right. Like real on the ground, you know, politics like this is kind of. I think you're right. That's kind of the key, you know. And the whole propaganda thing about right to work too is is, I mean, it's genius in a, a maniacal way. You know what I mean? Because if you don't if you don't have the time, you know, if you and if you don't do this for work, you know. It's hard to un, it's hard to grasp how misleading that is. So I, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right on both points, absolutely. And it's misleading in other ways as well because right to work laws allow corporatist politicians to pretend like they're they're not anti union. They're not they're not doing anything to bust unions. They're just you know they're just. They're just saying that workers who don't want to join the union and don't want to pay the dues don't have to, don't have to. But we all know how that's going to work out, right? If if you're able to take advantage of the benefits of organized labor without having to pay the dues or be engaged in the process, then you're not going to do it. A lot of people aren't going to do it, and that's exactly what happened. That's why uh, union membership declined so much over one over the uh, one decade uh, time frame, right? 40,000 uh, union members gone as a result of these types of laws. So I love that they did this. I think this is good news. I'd like to see more of this. The one thing that I repeatedly say about the Biden administration, it's one saving grace, if you will, is the NLRB under Biden's leadership. 
which has been pretty good relative to previous administrations. Labor power, in my opinion, is the only way we get out of the mess that we're experiencing with this rigged economic system. It's the only way that we have organized people power to apply pressure to members of Congress to actually represent us as opposed to the interests of their corporate donors. Please, Democratic Party, more of this, less of the taking care of corporations behind the scenes while using the right rhetoric when it comes to culture war issues. Because that's all it is, it's just rhetoric. They don't do anything other than that. And it's not going to sustain the base of voters they need to beat Republicans. They actually need to represent the best interests of ordinary people. They did that in Michigan, they need to do it on a national level as well. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.